the AUKUS, uh, America, UK, Australian alliance, and these, uh, these mythical submarines that might emerge in 2050 if we ever get there as a human race, and for which you're paying through your collective noses, uh, is all uh, part of the preparation for war with China. Uh, that we purposely called this episode tonight the roads, plural, roads to World War Three, And one of those roads lies uh, right across the Pacific, right all the way to the South China Sea, in which it's obviously the case that Australia will be expected to play a significant part. Look, unfortunately, uh, Australia is being pushed into this role. Uh, let me just say, if China decides one day to invade Taiwan, there is nothing Australia can do about it, and there's nothing Australia should do about it. Australia has nothing uh, in terms of military capabilities to stand up uh, to any type of uh, conflict, and neither should it. Australia is uh, enjoying uh, hundreds of billions of dollars in profits every year from selling iron ore to China. Uh, China buys this iron ore and builds uh, ships, weaponry. They have uh, more than 1,000 uh, Navy ships, of surface fleet of more than 1,000 ships. It's massive. It's huge. And they're building every day. They're building missiles every day. They're building thousands and thousands of missiles and drones every day. A Chinese manufacturing can be very quickly switched to producing weaponry. Now, why would we poke the dragon? And, and why would we poke the dragon and, and poke the bear at the same time? And this is where... Uh, the virtue signaling actions of the Australian Navy in the South China Sea, around Taiwan, uh, uh, on the coast of China, uh, are completely inappropriate. I mean, how would Australia like it if the Chinese Navy was uh, conducting exercises outside Sydney Harbour? Now, of course, it would be very unpleasant. But of course, this is not Australia's decision. Australia is being uh, pushed into this and forced into this by the United States.